Good morning everyone. It is currently half past six. Benji left for work, I want to say like 45 minutes ago, maybe an hour ago. Woke up around five and normally I go straight back to sleep but it was so hot I, uh, I just woke up and I've been doing some stuff on my phone, played with Bonnie, fed her. Now I'm going to open up the curtains. Oh what a nice day. I'm actually thinking of taking Bonnie for a walk now because it's still quite cool even though the sun is up it's actually cool outside so it's like a nice light breeze welcome back to another home vlog today is monday the what's the date uh 14th of june and tomorrow for the next well tuesday wednesday thursday for the next few days i'm going on a retreat that i was very kindly invited to um, about a month or so ago and I've always wanted to do a retreat. I know there's loads of different variations of retreats you can do from like yoga to mindset to whatever but this one is going to be sort of a bit of everything and I'm staying in a little shepherd's hut and I'm so excited about it. I'm not actually going to vlog any of the trip but I am going to be sharing quite a lot over on Instagram and I'll share maybe I'll do a story highlight as well so if you want to sort of see some of that I will share that but I need to get ready for that today so I need to pack organize sort Bonnie's things because she's gonna go stay with my mum for a few days and then on Friday I literally come home home less than 24 hours on Friday we are going down to Chichester for the weekend Arendelle so that we will vlog because that'll be with Benj and Bonnie so um yeah Benj won't be here in this vlog today again I know you guys haven't seen him for a while but he is all good we had a lovely weekend um we're still working on the utility room I'll show you what that looks like um it's chaos in this house yeah he watched the football the England game with a friend here yesterday and I went to my new gym and I'll talk more about that later but I went to my new gym and I did yoga and I did a, an outdoor swim and I did sunbathing and read a book and it was absolutely glorious so um, yeah I had a nice weekend um, but anyway let's do let's make the bed always the first thing is make the bed drink some water teeth and contacts and then we will walk Bonnie girl I have had another wisdom tooth come through at the back I've had one removed and I think the other three are all coming through at all the same time. Oh my gosh, it's quite painful. <laughs> Every time I bite down, I can feel it jabbing into the side of my gum. So that's not pleasant. Oh my goodness, what a gorgeous day. In fact, the last couple of days have been so lovely, haven't they? Um, but I have got quite a bad blister from some stupid shoes I wore on a walk with Bonnie. Don't even ask. I basically wore my garden shoes. These like slip on things from Audi. I wore them <laughs> for a walk really early one morning and I gave myself a blister and I've had it for like a week. So I'm having to wear flip flops and um, the grass is obviously wet and now my feet are covered in wet grass. But anyway. Let's see if I can walk in the shade a little bit because I'm proper squinting. I should have put my uh, should have put my sunglasses on. Today's vlog is going to be a bit of a catch up, little bit of a pack with me for this retreat, and just take you along for the day. Really, Monday. I'm really busy with work. I'm working with a company called Skinny Bars on Instagram, so I'm going to send them the content I filmed at the weekend. Uh, over for approval today. Quite a few work bits to do. I worked with a company called Wild last week. A lot of you ordered Wild deodorants, which was exciting. And so I created a content report for them and sent that over last night. So I did some stuff yesterday. Basically, Benji and I uh, still don't have the utility room done. I'll, again, I'll talk about that later. And so the washing machine, the tumble dryer, are not plugged in right now. So we had to go to my mum's house last night and do loads of washing and we were there for like three or four hours trying to get through the washing and we cooked our dinner there and we both took our laptops and he watched some TV and football and I did some work. Oh, Bonnie's doing another poo, she always does two. Right, one after the other. Anyway, so got some work to do today. Then I have a chiropractor appointment at 10.45. I have officially been signed off for my treatment plan, but we agreed that I would come back once a month. Look at Bonnie playing with the sock, or trying to anyway. <laughs> 
God, honestly, this vlog has been hard so far. Anyway, the point is, I've got the chiropractor this morning, then I've got an aqua class at 1.30, I think it is. Got a pack, got to do some work, um, and that's really the day. So, oh, and the podcast has gone up this morning. I need to go and share that. I'll share that, I'll share that now. So yeah, oh, speaking of our podcast, if you haven't already, please come over and listen to our podcast. This week's episode is uh, an update, like a chit chat, 2021 so far. And I just love it, I'm so proud of it. This season has been really chatty and lighthearted, and if I do say so myself, funny. I have had, like been laughing out loud listening back to what we chat about. So yeah, if you sort of want some chit chats in the background, on your dog walks, on your morning commute, um, when you're cleaning, whatever, then um, please do come and listen. It's called The Online Offline. I have a link in the description of all my videos. So yeah, that's basically what we're up to so far. Before I forget, obviously we're going on a little weekend away this weekend, but it's also Bonnie's 10th birthday this week on Sunday. Bonnie, come on. 10 years old. Oh my gosh, I honestly can't believe it. We've had her a year and she's about to turn 10. 10! <laughs> can't believe we've missed eight of those years, but she's such a good girl. She's been doing so well. I don't know if you can actually tell, but she's soaked, covered in loads of bits. <laughs> you poor little thing. <laughs> okay, we'll go and clean you up. We're back from our walk. It's almost eight o'clock and I've had a catch up with my mum on the phone and I've just uploaded this Instagram. Literally just uploaded it. Um, because I was dreaming of Florida, when am I not? So, yeah. So I normally get gel nails done, um, like every two weeks or so, but I'm slightly in between appointments at the moment, and I took off my gels yesterday, because I chipped a couple, so I had them plain, and I thought, do you know what, no, I don't want them plain, so I picked up this colour that I've had for a while, it's a Sally Hansen Insta Dry one, it's in the shade... Oh my grey, number 548. And I've also just done my toes too, which is a bit gross, isn't it? But you know, you don't need to see those. But um, I really like it. It's sort of a, yeah, like a lilac y grey. So I'm just currently painting my nails as I'm also trying to do some work. <laughs> Good. What a delivery first thing on a Monday morning. I've just had some Yankee candles arrive, and I love Yankee candle. Oh my gosh been buying and using them forever so this is such a treat and it's to celebrate them launching an exclusive offer on QVC. Sadly the offer has already passed by the time this vlog goes up but hopefully if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen this maybe. I've just got the printer going because I've just had the information for the retreat come through and I just wanted to print out the itinerary so that I have it and they've also asked if I would like either a manicure or a pedicure which I've obviously just done or a facial or or a massage so I'm definitely gonna take them up on that I don't know what is that a spot or what I don't know um, but I'm thinking maybe a facial or do I have a massage we're doing a lot of yoga I can't lie it is a lot of yoga <laughs> but I'm excited about it so they want me to arrive between 11 and 12 and it's gonna take me like three hours to get there so I have to leave about eight won't I yeah I'll leave at like eight I need to drop Bonnie off at my mum's first and then we're having lunch, then yoga and meditation, then snacks and herbal tea in the farmhouse, then more yoga in the barn, and then dinner. So I have to decide if I want my treatment on day one. Or on day two, we're starting with yoga at 8 a.m., breakfast at nine, a nutritional and well-being talk at 11, lunch between 12 and one, again in the farmhouse, between two and three, we're doing meal planning and mental well-being. I don't know if I need to bring a yoga mat. I've actually ordered one online, but it's not arrived yet. Um, and then, yeah, PT session in the afternoon. And then meet by the fire pits for a hearty and nutritious supper. Oh, my gosh. And then the last day, we're doing a rise and shine yoga, breakfast, um, PT and stretch class. And then we leave after lunch from one o'clock it sounds absolutely glorious i can't lie um i have never done a retreat i'm so nervous because i don't know anybody the the company are called fair oak farm i will leave the details below they've won loads of awards and their instagram is your country estate and yeah so i basically just have to decide 
what a hard like I'm, look at my hair oh my gosh I look like a mess um i basically have to decide when i want my massage so if i time it right i'm not going to want a massage before a pt session am i like when i'm feeling all zen and relaxed so day one is the tuesday maybe i have it on day one. Oh my god she's the cutest thing in the whole world look at your little tail wagging you were asleep a second ago i just wanted to film you <laughs> she's so happy do you like a belly rub is that what it is is that what that is <laughs> oh is that nice should we do a little belly rub oh yes i've just done a full tank of fuel and i've also just picked up some danishes for myself because i haven't eaten any breakfast which is probably the worst 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 breakfast ever but i figured that i could sort of eat and i was trying to buy some bits for um the journey tomorrow and sort of things i might want in my shepherd's hut um so i got some like pepsi and some capri sun and i got myself a pizza for dinner tonight as well right i'm here i'm on time with like three minutes to spare so let's um let's go in to my appointment just thought i'd give you a little update because i finished my chiropractor appointment and that's my last official one completely um with that chiropractor but as i mentioned in one of my last vlogs i am going to be doing monthly appointments i just think i'm gonna move now to do them at my gym because i joined a new gym which i'll talk about in a minute and they have a um, performance sports massage clinic uh, chiropractor clinic so i think i'll do my appointments there now instead but yeah it feels really good to be done and say goodbye to my chiropractor she heads back to manchester where she lives and she's got a new job there so um yeah i just wish her all the best i really wish i could have given her a hug and i was just so grateful for everything she did to help me so yeah so that's that done so speaking of my gym um i did talk about this on instagram i wasn't sure whether to talk about it or not because honestly whenever i talk about sort of health and fitness and like body confidence and image and things like that i find it really difficult to articulate what i mean and ultimately the bottom line is that i've invested a lot of time energy and money into my mental and physical well-being this year and i did mention this as well i did a little bit of therapy recently and that helped me a lot and i've been exercising and really finding my feet with it i have tried so many different things i actually went to a couple of bounce classes on one of those little trampolines uh, that were really good fun one of my viewers recommended it her name was emma i was doing aqua fit at my old gym but i had absolutely zero confidence in the actual gym and doing anything um like training wise with weights and things i was just doing like cardio on the you know treadmill and the cross trainer and the rower and whatever although the rower i have to be careful on my back but um obviously having my bad back meant that i'm having to find workouts that work well for me and help build strength in my back and so i did a little bit of um, a rehab training plan at the chiropractor and then i started going back to the gym again i did a lot of at-home workouts over the last few months and then i basically decided i wanted something more and my gym was driving me mad I'd like to try and get an appointment to go for a swim you had to book like a week ahead and every time i did go there it was so crowded and i was just not feeling the love there right i was just not happy at my old gym i basically woke up one sunday morning and i said to benj i'm gonna join my old gym i've been thinking about it for a while and i miss it and it's the place that i fell in love with exercise if you watched my old 2016 vlogs you'll remember how much i used to go there it used to be a virgin active and then it changed hands and is now a david lloyd and yeah i just thought i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go back i'm gonna work out three or four times a week i want to try lots of classes i want to build my confidence and i want to find what works for me so i've got my new membership there and so far i am loving it i've done quite a few different classes already i did yoga yesterday I did legs, bumps and core on Friday and today I'm doing aqua, obviously, because aqua class is my favourite. I don't think they call it aqua fit, I think it's just called aqua. Um, aqua class maybe? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I have no idea what it's going to be like because I haven't done it in this gym yet. But there's an outside pool and yesterday I spent like four or five hours sunbathing and swimming in the outside pool. It was amazing. Bench watched the Euros at home with a friend and um i just chilled 
by the gym pool. It was so good. Sorry, there's a few um, speed bumps here. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's all really. So I'm gonna go over to the gym this afternoon to do my class and they have amazing facilities there. So they have like um, lovely hair dryers and straighteners that are GHDs and they have a lovely restaurant. So I eat my lunch there quite regularly. I can envision myself working from there again as well. Obviously I have Bonnie so I can't ever be away too long but I'm just feeling really good about it. So going on this retreat tomorrow is kind of good timing because I do feel like I've really been investing so much into finding out what I like and I've always wanted to try doing a retreat and never done one so anyway. Ignore how I look because I'm obviously getting in the pool in a minute but my summer fab fit fun box arrived and I would normally do a full video on Instagram or my YouTube channel but I don't have time so the box itself is so lovely whoever designed this love it and I think this is my favorite box to date and if you don't know what FabFitFun is it's an American lifestyle subscription box you get to pick some of your products you can do one off or you can be an annual member I am an annual member so I paid 200 pounds up front so it works out about 50 pound a box and I do feel like I 100% get my money's worth I really love it. it makes me really excited and happy and it's just sort of a little treat to me from me um, and this month is definitely my favorite so far. So I bought this extra because I couldn't decide between this and one other item in the category. So they have like four different categories and you pick like one or two products from each one. It tells you you've got to pick. Um, so yeah, this is the first thing that was a category choice, but I couldn't decide. So I ended up adding it as an extra. And I think it was like $15 to add it on, maybe less. Um, and it's a company called Virginia Wolf and it's one of their wraps, like a body wrap. Um, you know one of those things that you can use in like multiple ways and it's a really gorgeous leaf print and it's super soft and I just thought I'd be really nice quite a versatile little thing I can chuck in my bag if we go to the beach um, maybe I can take it away with me that was the first thing the next thing I got were these Kate Spade socks which have come at the absolute perfect time because I'm going to pack these today as well perfect for yoga class so yeah I love wearing little grip socks for yoga. I wore some yesterday that I ordered from Amazon that are really, really bad quality because the grip on the bottom, every time I do any sort of like moving around or like downward dog or something, the bits come off. So I definitely needed some new um, little socks. So got those, don't know how much they're worth. Kate Spade can't be cheap for these. So happy with those. Next, I think this alone was worth like 70 or 80 pounds is the PMD Clean facial brush so it's a silicon brush that massages your face you put your cleanser on it i have tried various different versions of things like this in the past um but when it came up as an option it was one of those things i was like i'm gonna give it a go i think i'm gonna like that so for that i got some more of the guardian angel under eye patches i showed you these in the beach hut vlog they just literally are patches for under your eye then I got some blue light glasses. I obviously wear contact lenses, but I figured that these would be perfect for when I'm working at my desk. I'll wear my contacts still. And then blue light blocking glasses. And I actually really love them. They look really nice. Um, they kind of suit me, I think. I don't know if you can see or tell. They're slightly bigger than what I'd go for, but you can tell they've got the, um, the blue light blocking thing on. So they are perfect for when I'm working at my desk. One of those things that I wanted to buy but hadn't got round to picking any, so that was kind of perfect. I think that's how you say this brand. Ciate London? Uh, watermelon Burst Setting Spray. Again, I think this was worth like 20 or 30 pounds alone. Um, not the most exciting product, but everyone needs a setting spray, don't they? Oh! Oh my gosh, it does actually smell like watermelon oh wow that's actually really lush oh quite nice for a day like today when it's really hot so that's nice next we have a face mask high altitude hydration mask is called flight mode skincare um i just thought this would be a very good choice always need new face masks and last but not least the tart c drink of h2o moisturizer 
again this must easily be worth 20 or 30 pounds um, not a brand that I often see in the UK but I know it I always see it when I'm in Sephora in the US um, oh it's like a really nice sort of gel consistency kind of like my Clinique moisture surge if you've ever used that let's try it on the back of my hand oh oh yes that is gonna feel so good that is lovely mm -mm -mm. okay cool so yeah that's everything i got in my summer fanfit fan box so i just want to show you what was inside good i'm procrastinating so much this afternoon i've managed to do some emails and stuff that's come in for a monday morning but i've been kind of limp bonnie she's come back down now it's nice and cool in here I've got a fan going in here. I'm just packing up my swim stuff. I've also packed my sun cream just in case I want to sit in the outside pool for an hour or two and read my book. Um, but I don't know. I'm just not getting any work done. I have arrived at the gym. I've just been doing some emails. It is so hot. I'm feeling so lethargic. And I had a tuna sandwich about 45 minutes ago. And it's just made me want to go to sleep so tired i went i had such a bad night's sleep because of the heat um but anyway let's get in the pool let's get moving do a bit of exercise and then um good oh my goodness it is so warm and i'm trying to oh it's 30 degrees look at that 30 at 4 p.m oh my gosh i'm gonna go home feed bonnie and talk to you a little bit about my afternoon um but oh what a lovely afternoon guys look at the mess in the kitchen it's an actual joke <laughs> ben just just painted this door so it matches the other ones and this is the current garden situation so the gardener said that um he can't come now until end of june so it just keeps getting pushed back and back um, the fence did fall down if some of you watched that vlog, but let's just ignore the mess. We're running a little bit low on food, but I have ordered her some, so hopefully we we'll just about have enough to do the morning. It's now 20 past four. I'm just giving Bonnie her dinner and I did my aqua class and it was really good. I would say... I preferred my old aqua class in terms of the stuff we did. However, I definitely got my heart rate higher because I always track it on my Fitbit. So I worked a bit harder and the moves were like better. So probably a better workout for me. But I think it's just because it's new and I'm just getting used to knowing people. One lady introduced herself to me and was so lovely because she knew that I was new. I just think that's so nice if you spot someone on their own not talking to anyone and they're new in a gym. It's just lovely to say hello, isn't it? So yeah, the class was good. And then I thought I might as well take full advantage of the lovely, lovely weather. So I sat outside and did all my emails on my phone <laughs> for like an hour. And then I read a bit of my book and then I had a nice hot shower wash dried and straightened my hair there so it was really nice to use their facilities <laughs> and now i'm back home so we need to do some packing basically is the next thing on my to-do list but yeah i've not had too many emails come in today but skinny bars is good to go for tomorrow so i'm gonna put that live um they approved all my content no changes which always makes me so happy oh i also bought a new top in the gym let me see if i can show you um the retreat people said we're mostly going to be in workout gear i've been lacking some tops to wear oh does this come apart oh either way i bought this pink nice pink um nike pro top they sold it at the gym shop that's attached together but i'm assuming you can cut that off and anyway, i'm going to try it on because they only had a large which i think is a 14 but you know when you do the thing where you like hold it up against you and you're like i think that will fit <laughs> we'll see um so yeah that was how much 28 pounds we've permanently left the projector down for a minute because well we're using it more than our tv to be honest um but anyway i'm gonna cut, I'll pack up all my things we put an extra bowl of water by the fan and she seems to be drinking from it. Good girl, Bonnie. You want to drink from that? You can drink from that. Okay, I got changed into my shorts and 
plain top and I've started just throwing stuff on the bed and trying to organize it I seem to have a lot of stuff in a lot of bags right now just from where I've been moving around so much after the beach hut then I went to Liverpool last week for a few days I don't know if I told you about that I worked with EE which was such an amazing brand for me and such a great opportunity so I did some work for them and I spent a couple of days there and I explored and just had the loveliest time I didn't actually vlog any of it because I was there trying to focus on getting the work done for them but I just took myself out for dinner and walked around the shops and explored the Royal Albert docks and yeah I wasn't there very long so I didn't get to do a lot of stuff but it was really really nice but my point is is that I've been in and out of bags and suitcases and all sorts um, so I'm just trying to gather all my things together but I have had loads of PR parcels recently and um, which is so exciting and I'm always so grateful for stuff it means I get to try a lot of products but this came through the door the other day it's the L'Oreal plumping gloss and I didn't try it straight away because it looked like this and I thought oh well that's not gonna look like a nice color on my lips it's a uh, really pale pink but actually no it's sort of a clear but it's a plumping gloss and it's got that like minty tingly sensation oh it's so nice and i've been sort of addicted to like putting it on to be honest it's making my lips feel just really nice it's not you can't really tell it's not really doing much but i'm gonna pack it because it's really good <laughs> just thought I'd share that in case you see it in stores um it looks like they've got loads of different shades so I might pick up one of the actual sort of pinky shades hopefully you can see that I'm just trying to decide what I want to wear because the company doing the retreat emailed me this morning will no doubt spend most of the time in workout gear because of the nature of the of the retreat basically we're doing yoga every day and PT sessions and things but given that next week is meant to be scorching I think she means this week I would recommend bringing some cooler items and then some layers for the evening slash yoga classes as we'll hopefully end up doing yoga outdoors we also have an infrared sauna at the farm so please bring light clothing if you'd like to use it in your downtime a private chef will provide meals throughout the retreat but please note you do not have you do have your own fully equipped kitchen in your accommodation so please do feel free to bring your own food and drink if you want to that is very nice so basically last night benj and i spent like three or four hours at my mum's house and we did loads of washing so that's all the whites is it or is that on mine oh no we separated it up this is my stuff so I need to go through here, put all of it away. And I've also got some stuff hanging, drying, because we couldn't do it all. Taking this jumpsuit. Um, and then I've got to pack Bonnie stuff as well. So let's just take this whole Ikea bag and put everything away because it's all clean and dry. For somebody who loves packing, I am just finding it a bit overwhelming. I have so many lovely things that I want to carry and pack it all. So like yoga, I can probably re-wear stuff for the PT session, but after that, I'll probably be too sweaty that I'll want to wear again. And then I'm thinking like the pants that I wear with my yoga bottoms, you know? But I like to wear big high-waisted massive pants. <laughs> I just have no shame, I've shared this so many times now. Um, because they're comfortable, right? So I wanna wear them to travel in. It's gonna be hot again tomorrow, but when I go home, it's likely to be raining. And I'm also staying in a shepherd's hut, which is probably gonna be really hot. So I'm thinking about like what I wanna wear to sleep in. Um, and then for the evenings, if we're sat around a little fire, what do I want to be cozy in? And I kind of want to pack everything, but the reality is, is I obviously can't. So yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what is important to me. But anyway, I picked up this play suit, uh, jumpsuit, yeah, play suit, play suit, sorry, it's little shorts, um, from Zara. But when I tried it on, because Zara changing rooms are open now, it basically does up at the top like that, but it was pulling ever so slightly and what I really want to do is get it sewn so that it sits like a V like that because it looks really cute. So I'm tempted to wear this tomorrow and um, just fold it down like that because there's nothing, you can't tell. Just realised I'm definitely going to want trainers if I'm doing PT stuff. So thank God I have these up here. Just saw them on the floor, going to need them. And then I need to logistically think about camera equipment, laptop, socks for those shoes as well reading book oh my God, it's just so many things <laughs> so i'm just deciding on outfits and i really do not like this top i just hate how high up the neck is and it's just a bit clingy to me um so i'm trying to find a top that i can wear for yoga and pt classes because 
this is just not it um i do have some m&s ones that i bought this is my m&s top i just didn't want to be in all black you know oh my god i'm so hot i think i'm wanting to feel good because i am not really like a gym yoga gal like i just don't have all the gear i don't i don't love all my gym gear it's definitely something i'd like to get some more pieces of because this top ain't it is it i'm so hot as well trying on these clothes just like not the one um yeah i definitely want to get some new stuff because this is just Right, can I get away with stealing Benji's Saint Kitts little tank top here? Um, because I don't want sleeves. And this looks kind of cute. These are my Lululemon leggings, which I actually don't always wear to work out in. I kind of just live in them for, you know. Hi, baby. I don't know if you can see her, but Bonnie's down there. Um, oh, hi, what do you think of my outfit? Is it cute? This is not it, is it? I need some more sports tops, Bonnie. I need some more sports clothes. I don't have enough. I just need you all to know that while I'm doing this, I'm watching Lydia Millen. I don't always watch her videos, but I saw she did my first Zara haul and why I never shop there. But the first 10 minutes has all been designer stuff and she just looks sensational. Absolutely 10 out of 10, gorgeous. And there's me here looking like this, a potato, sweating. I aspire to be as glam as Lydia. She is so beautiful. Um, but I'm currently in a sports bra and my boyfriend's top. Good. Okay, I'm making some progress. I have decided to pack two cropped leggings two long leggings um a pair of leggings one of them i can sort of cinch in sorry my neighbor's doing gardening um because with yoga i, I sort of want to keep them tight the lululemon leggings are okay for sort of lounging around and we're doing a lot of sort of you know chit chats and nutritional well-being talk meal planning and mental well-being talk so i want to be wearing casual comfy clothes for that but if the weather's really hot i just want to be in like loose light stuff i want a travel outfit i need fairly nice dinner outfits even though we're on a retreat so i've dug out um all black jumpsuit which can't go wrong with that it's all one outfit that way perfect i was trying to um and ah between that and the spotty one because i don't need both i thought plain black is good for the evening dinner because i don't want to get dressed up i don't really want to turn up in my leggings um so i'm just sort of trying to work out where to go next and my suitcase is already looking quite full um i thought i wouldn't need a suitcase and i'm now wondering if it's better to just take like a bag even like an ikea bag might be easier for me um because the suitcase just makes it all a bit compact i don't know i'm not quite sure what to do <laughs> I know it looks excessive for like three days, but I've got my trainers and socks inside, yoga socks, and then a variation of sports bras, a top, because obviously we're doing like PT sessions, it says, and then just a mixture of other outfits, um, gym wear, wear. I'd rather have too much than not enough, and especially if it's hot and sweaty, I'm not going to want to re-wear it. So this is just the gym section so far that is taking up half the case and haven't even got any of my toiletries or anything else so i've popped my m&s jumper in because i thought that'd be quite nice for the evening especially if we're sitting around the fire i can mix and match that with my leggings i think what i need to do is just double check the weather um but i might pop my teak dress in i've talked about teak a few times they're a small disney inspired business and they've just released tonight a couple more colors so i've just ordered this in the lilac kind of like the color of my nails actually um but yeah i think i might pack this like a nice light easy to throw on black dress and i've also been wearing my in the style dress a lot the stacy solomon one this i love um i've been living in this it is quite short but could be quite a good option for like an evening i think i'll pack that as well i'll take both those dresses and the jumpsuit this is getting ridiculous and i've got pajamas and i've got a swimming cozy or actually a bikini in case i want to go in the sauna 
Oh my god, honestly. I feel so out of practice with packing. It's taking me ages, but I've got all night, so <laughs> good. I have made some progress. So I've managed to shove in all my underwear and my bikini now. I couldn't decide between shorts and a ta like a little strappy top for my pajamas or like a big baggy t-shirt. When it's really hot, I would probably just sleep naked to be honest, but <laughs> you know, can't quite do that. So I want the choice um, to see how I feel. So I've got both of those. This is a little raincoat. I double checked and it's gonna chuck it down with rain on Thursday, which is the day I go home. So basically I have packed most of the options that will be nice and light and cool and comfortable for me. This dress I can wear for dinner if I want. I also have the teak dress that I showed you with the sunflowers, the jumpsuit, that jumper for when we're sat around the fire. Um, what else? I've got a towel. I love the Dock and Bay towels. I've talked about these so many times. I've also got a little matching hair towel as well. So obviously my suitcase is getting quite full. I am thinking of packing my laptop just so that when I do have some downtime, I can keep on top of my work. Uh, I know it's a retreat and I probably should just like totally switch off and not even bother bringing my laptop, but I want to edit this vlog and get this up for you. Maybe I'll do that a bit tonight. So I think I want to take my laptop, I want to take my book, I want to take my camera because I'm going to film some real content and get some really lovely photos. And then I need things like my purse, mask, anti-bag. I've got my little portable fan which actually I'm going to go and stick on charge just in case it needs it. And I'll pack a USB charger, I've got my AirPods over there. I want to bring my iPad so that is here that I need to charge up as well. So it's just all these like bits, sunglasses. I'm not quite sure how I've managed it, but I have fit all of my makeup and my toiletries in this fairly smallish bag. Like that's quite small for me. I normally have two separate bags. Oh gosh, she says. <laughs> oh God. Oh no, Bonnie, help. Mommy can't get it open, hold on. Right, okay, so I couldn't fit my shampoo and conditioner in, so I have just randomly found some Disney ones, which I don't know if my hair's gonna like this because I have quite a sensitive scalp um, and some allergies, but I just figured, you know what, for the sake of one night, I mean, it's quite big, isn't it, really? Bonnie baby, you are just slightly in the way, pickle. I've got stuff for my curly hair. I took these from the hotel when I stayed in Liverpool last week. Um, body wash, body lotion, my wild deodorant, sun cream. Uh, this is to take my makeup off with. I can't find a cleanser at the moment. That is something I am lacking, like a little small one. Um, perfume, moisturiser, hair stuff, plasters. Yeah, I actually also want to have a little look in here because I'm pretty sure I shoved in the other day a blister plaster. Is it in here? Yes, I want that. I have a horrible blister over there. One plaster is not really going to do, but it's better than none. So, yeah, there's quite a lot of toiletries in there, to be fair. Um, I also have sun cream big bottle there because uh, I don't know how often we're going to be outside. That one's for my face. I've just got one eyeshadow and a couple of brushes, a mascara, a little bit of foundation, highlighter, concealer. I've got sort of like a full face, just because I figured in the evenings I'll probably want to look a little bit more presentable. It's hard to know, isn't it? Like, I might not even use any makeup whatsoever, but I like the option, I guess. But anyway, I'm going to try and fold that back up again. I've got a Denman brush there for my curly hair, but I normally use Tangle Teaser. To be honest, I think I'll shove that one in as well. My glasses, a little hairband. Yeah, so I think I'm happy with that. Let me just zip it up. I really wanted a pack light. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think it's also quite hard knowing I've got my car, so like I can just shove as much stuff in my car if I wanted to. And I'm assuming that I can park my car outside the shepherd's hut, so I don't have to pack light in, in the case of like, I don't have to carry it very far, if that makes sense. It's just from my car to the accommodation. Well, from my front door to my car, which will take two seconds, and then from the car to the accommodation. But I don't want to be that girl that turns up with loads of stuff. Once, on my first med sailors trip, we took massive suitcases, Jess and I. Jess was the girl I went on the trip with. And 
it was so embarrassing we had so much stuff but do you know what in my defense i didn't know what the hell i'd need on a sailing holiday my first one plus um i did use quite a lot of it the other thing that i've obviously had to consider is the weather like it's so hot it's gonna be 27 degrees on wednesday it's gonna be 24 tomorrow um so anyway i think i'm happy with that I'm gonna have to re-straighten my hair in the morning. It's just so hot that I've shoved it up in this clip. In fact, maybe I should pack a clip because I quite like doing this in my hair at the moment instead of having it in scrunchies or ponytails. But anyway, excuse the fact the fridge is just chilling here. Obviously, the utility room is a hot mess. I'll show you it in a second. I normally buy the M&S pizzas. They're my favorite, but I bought my petrol from co-op today um well i bought my petrol from the petrol station and it was attached to a little co-op you know so this one has actually won papa industry awards convenience store pizza retailer award i don't know a wood fire margarita pizza and this will take six to eight minutes in the oven I'll pop this in put together a bit of a salad to go with it and then after i've had my dinner we will go out for walk number two quite fancy taking bonnie somewhere else maybe driving somewhere with her you know do not get excited about this because it is literally just an empty shell of a room oh it's so bad it's blurry so we had a few issues with the floor it's been latexed three times do not talk to me about it or ask me why i don't know but it's definitely dry now which is good so that needs patching up still there needs to be plumbing done along the back here. So Ben just started doing the electrics because he's obviously an electrician, if you didn't know that. Um, he niches in hospitals, so he normally fits like MRIs and CT scanners, X-ray scanners, but obviously he can do the electrics in the house. So he started doing this stuff, um, which is where we're gonna keep our microwave in here uh, because it just didn't fit on the kitchen counter. So we're gonna have all of Bonnie's stuff, we're gonna have a big sink, we're gonna have a wine fridge, and the worktops will go all the way to the back. And then washing machine, tumble dryer will go back in there, fridge will go back there. We are thinking of getting a new fridge, one that's maybe um, a better fit like this way around, so that you sort of come in and you can open the doors like this. I'm not quite sure, definitely wanna change that. And then obviously this downstairs bathroom needs major love. It's just become a dumping ground for tools and whatnot so yeah we don't use this bathroom obviously um it's fine because we're going to renovate that at some point but it's just not a priority considering we have another bathroom my sort of dream and vision which i just don't think will be possible for this summer really at this rate is that we'll have a full utility room that bathroom will be done maybe we'll do that in the winter and then we can open up this back door have the garden fully renovated as well and done and so we can have friends over and have like a barbecue and then they can come in this back door wash their hands at the sink or get the alcohol out and dump stuff here and then also use the bathroom if they want it's going to flow really well and i'm glad we do have a bathroom there just to save like guests having to go upstairs but obviously it's just, it just is what it is. Um, so <laughs> she's waiting for me at the door. We're gonna go, I promise. So anyway, we've got a family friend who's gonna sand this, flatten it completely, lay the floor in here. Benji's dad's gonna help come and do the plumbing. And we're just taking our time with it. I know that some of you will be like, what's taking so long? But we just had a few hiccups with a few things. There's still so much to do, like this needs doing. Um, but anyway, I'm not necessarily fussed about rushing any of these projects, but obviously living with the fridge in the middle of the kitchen and all of my cleaning utility room stuff and then my washing machine out here that I can't use, <laughs> those things um, do take its toll eventually. Like there's boxes of Tupperware and stuff that obviously needs to go in the utility room. So anyway i'm looking forward to it getting done but it will get done when it gets done and i'll just keep giving you updates and the garden the gardener said end of june hopefully so this is the evening walk oh. <laughs> all right bonnie good girl she's probably gonna do our business in a minute but um yeah it's just like a really nice wholesome little place she's just such a happy dog just wants to go and sniff and find me things <laughs> oh. We nearly had a moment 
where she ran in there when they're playing football. But this is how good her recall's getting. Bonnie! This way, Bonnie! Good girl! Good girl! Love it. I think it might be a little bit too windy, so I'm going to make this quick. But I just wanted to say that having a dog, honestly, has changed my life so much because I would never have come out for a walk on my own at this time. But um, she really does give me such an amazing life. And I guess we give her one too, but I just love it. She's my bestie. So my plan for the rest of the evening is to edit a bit of this vlog and watch a little bit of The Bold Type. I started watching it on the journey up to Liverpool and I'm like six or seven episodes into season one. I'm so glad I saved it because I'm really into it and I wasn't really in the mood for any sort of binge-worthy TV series before. But if you liked Gossip Girl and Emily in Paris, then you will love The Bold Type. It's on Netflix and it's so good. And I think there's like three or four seasons. So that's what I'm gonna go home and do, tidy up a bit and carry on packing. It is currently 20 to 10 and as you can see I'm just trying to edit some of this vlog. I still have loads of stuff all over the bed that I need to sort out and the little baby is down there sleeping amongst some clothes that I have not put away so she's sound asleep and the fan is blowing on both of us, it's moving around. I have FaceTimed Benj and he's sending me a load of reels so that when I finish editing he um, is going to call me back and then we're going to watch some of them together or talk about them. It's kind of like our version of doing TikTok so we watch TikToks together but then when he works away we do reels and we send each other reels on Instagram um, that we think we'll like. It's just our thing at the moment is what we do. So yes I've caught up with him and that's all really from today i've really enjoyed vlogging today i hope you've enjoyed coming along with me for my very random day i am so looking forward to going away so do come over and follow me on instagram so you can see what i got up to because by the time you see this vlog i would have already been home and next week you will get a chichester vlog from that weekend that trip and we have actually quite a lot of things coming up so after that we are going to London for the day, then we're going to Wales for a week, and then we're going to Cardiff. So we have quite a lot of trips and things coming up. We have another one in August. We have some weddings coming up, and then in September time we have like theatre shows starting back up as well. Um, oh, that reminded me, theatre, um, cinema. We've been back at the cinema, we watched Cruella, which was absolutely amazing loved it and we also saw in the heights the lin-manuel miranda adaptation from the broadway show i liked it i didn't love it i thought i'd fall in love with it and want to listen to it over and over like the soundtrack and watch it again and again and it was really beautiful there's a big cast they do speak some spanish in it and it's just very bright and fun my favorite song was 96,000, and the swimming pool scene once you've seen it you'll understand but other than that there are like four main-ish characters like it's kind of like one main character and then four sort of mm, they sort of share story equally as much to be honest and um it, it was it was very 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 slow to start and the film itself was like two and a half hours long so i don't know i think it could have been shorter and a bit snappier i'm not quite sure i'm not sure what i didn't love about it um maybe i was just really tired when i saw it but i liked it it was a good watch it was a, it was a nice cinema watch for getting back into the cinema i'm just really happy at the moment and i feel so grateful for so many things i've actually been journaling every day in an app um called i think it's literally just called journal i will leave a link to the one that i use because there's quite a lot when you search journal or journaling in the um app store it's actually the same people that i used to use the physical version of the book it's like the five minute journal and you can write in it every morning i do three things i'm grateful for three good things that i want to happen that day and then a positive affirmation and then at the end of the day i write three good things that happen oh i can't remember what i write in, in the evening it's because i haven't done it yet today so i've forgotten but i've been doing it for 18 days straight and it's been so nice to journal and um, reflect on my days and it gets you to do a little marker on if you're feeling sad or happy or okay or great or whatever and I've had so many good and great days recently and I recognize that and I feel really lucky to have 
um, just so many things in my life and so many things going for me and I also reached 80,000 subscribers at the weekend as well. I hit that on Saturday the 12th of June so thank you so 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 much. 80,000 subscribers, insane, like that's a huge milestone and um, I didn't really truly celebrate it because the, we weren't really doing anything but I did have a lovely weekend and we did have a little takeaway Saturday and yeah i'm just feeling feeling all the love so big thanks if you are subscribed and if you're not already please hit that button so we can hopefully one day get to the 100k and get me a play button <laughs> that'd be amazing but anyway hope you have a lovely rest of your week or weekend or whatever you're up to and um i will see you again in the next vlog which will be arendelle see you soon bye